Robert Kennedy's daughter, Carrie Kennedy, joins us now. Carrie, thank you very much. I know this has really weighed on your family for five months, at least, while this was being reviewed. So I know you're gratified by the decision. Do you think there still is the possibility, uh, despite the governor's very complete uh, statement, you know, a lengthy statement about all of the evidence of Sirhan, Sirhan's uh, refusal to acknowledge his guilt, do you think there's a chance he could be released down the road? You know, um, first of all, I'm so very, very grateful to Governor Newsom to for siding with justice on this issue. Um, this is, he's going to come up for parole eight, every 18 months for the rest of his life. And this is very, very dangerous to society. You know, I, I remember as a kid, um, we campaigning with daddy, we went to Disneyland in California and then that night of uh, June 5th, um, we went to the Ambassador Hotel and, and waited for the returns to come back. And then I was only eight years old, so I was sent to my hotel, our hotel, which was elsewhere in L.A., and I went to sleep. And the next morning, I got up to watch cartoons because it was still on East Coast time. And I was watching Bugs Bunny alone in this hotel with my feet crossed. And I'm watching the screen, and that's how I learned that my father was had been shot. And then we went back to Virginia, and the next day my brother called me and, and told me that we had lost my dad. And the first thing I did was I, I, I prayed for daddy, and I prayed for my mother and our family, and then I prayed for his killer. And I said, please, God, don't, let, don't hurt, don't kill the guy who killed my father, because I didn't want any other family to go through what we had gone through. And that feeling is still here today. I don't want any other family to go through what we have gone through. And that's why this guy cannot get out of jail. He has no remorse. He has no regret. He has not been rehabilitated. And he has a hair trigger rage. And he's very, very, very dangerous to society. And he can't be let out. You know, Carrie, I, I don't think I ever heard that story before. And... It's unimaginable. Um, you know, I, I know where I was. I was a kid reporter and, you know, in the newsroom late that night because of the California time distance. And uh, mm -hmm. it, of course, had come only months after Dr. King's death. So 1968 mm -hmm. was just a horrendous year for the nation. But for your family, um, eight children at the time, there were eight children left without a father. And your mom. No, 11, 11, 11, 11. I mean, excuse me, I meant My, 11 children, 11 children. Yeah. And, yeah. and your mother. And, um, and my mother. And he, incidentally, he went, he um, did this. He said it was premeditated. He brought a gun. He did this on the anniversary of the Arab Israeli war. He, went to target practice that morning. He put bullets that specifically were incredibly fatal. He went to the hotel where my father was, and he shot my father twice. And he also shot five other people. And he nearly killed my mother, who was right next to my father, who was pregnant with my baby sister. I mean, this wasn't just a random shooting. This was a massacre. Well, and I know your family was divided over this, and that had to be very painful with Bobby Jr., you know, leading well, the way. Well, you know, Andrea, um, like, like we just discussed, 11 kids, I have, there are over 150 Kennedys, first cousins, nieces, and nephews, um, relatives of Joe and Rose Kennedy. There is nothing that we all agree on. Um, so when you come from a group that large, you're just going to expect that not everybody's on the same page all the time. And, and that's the way it rolls. But really, the point is not about our family. The point is about your family. The point is about our country. This was a, a political assassination. This was a terrorist attack on our democracy. It was the killing of a United States senator in the middle of a presidential campaign. And our country has never 
healed from that. The difference between having Bobby Kennedy as president versus Richard Nixon as president with his Southern strategy of dividing black against white in order to get more and more votes is still with us today. And that's what led up to Donald Trump. And so my dad spent that entire campaign, his major theme was healing divisions. He said, peace, justice, and compassion for those who suffer. That's what the United States should stand for. So yes, I lost my father and my 10 brothers and sisters lost their father. But our country lost our leader. And that's what this is about. Carrie Kennedy, thank you for sharing your thoughts. And uh, uh, there's no way to speak. There's no way to even address how unspeakable it was for you and for the nation. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Well, thanks for being with us.